How's it going, people? I'm doing all right. Just haven't done any of this in a while. So I wanted to finish, as you can see, I'm making some progress. And things were getting interesting. So let's have a beer first. And I thought, you know, to honor the victims of the Boston Marathon religious atrocity. Yeah, because once again, religion is to blame for crazy fucking shit. Fanatics, what are you going to do? And of course the mom, <laughs> or the bombers, is like, yeah, she's denying. But it made her faith stronger than ever. Yeah. Yeah, that was red paint everywhere. I wonder if she denies the Holocaust, too. Anyhow, I always get Islam and Mormons mixed up. Probably because I got the same origin story, just <laughs> very similar. Okay, section 105 of the DNC. The first. Oh, oh, that's good. Okay. Revelation. Given through Joseph Smith the Prophet on Fishing River, Missouri, June 22nd, 1834. Mob violence against the saints in Missouri had increased. And that's the promised land. Zion. And organized bodies from several counties had declared their intent to destroy the people. That's them. Latter-day Saints they're talking about. The prophet had come from Kirtland at the head of a party known as Zion's Camp, bringing clothing and provisions. While the party was encamping on Fishing River, the prophet received this revelation. Sea History of the Church, Volume 2, Chapters 5 to 8, Inclusive. For explanation of unusual names, see heading to Section 78. We know that one very well. That's where they got their own special pet names for each other. <laughs> their own secret names. I don't know if they got their secret handshakes yet, but anyway. All right. But for their transgressions, the people might have been redeemed from their enemies. Unwillingness to impart to the poor condemned. The redemption of Zion deferred. The people to appeal to the officers of the law for redress. Lands in Jackson and adjoining counties to be purchased. Endowment to be given in the house of the Lord in process of erection at Kirtland. The day of calling followed by the day of choosing. The saints to lift an ensign of peace. Okay, that's it for them. Massive masthead. I need another drink. Okay. One. Verily, I say unto you who have assembled yourselves together, that you may learn my will concerning the redemption of mine afflicted people. Two. Behold, I say unto you, were it not for the transgressions of my people, speaking concerning the church and not individuals, the whole church is fucking up, they might have been redeemed even now. They fucked up. Three. But, behold, they have not learned to be obedient to the things which I require at their hands, but are full of all manner of 
evil and do not impart of their substance as becometh saints to the poor and afflicted among them. Okay, so for the poor saints, the richer saints should be like kicking down. And of course, you know how you do that. You give it to the bishop, the bishop. And he puts it in a storehouse and they divvy it out, kind of like out of the early chapters of Acts. Yeah, sounds a little like socialism, doesn't it? Or even communism. Yeah, anyway. Four. And are not united according to the union required by the law of the celestial kingdom. That's that one up there in the clouds. <sighs> or beyond the clouds, who knows. Somewhere between here and the sun, I guess. Anyway. Five. And Zion cannot be built up unless it is by the principles of the law of the celestial kingdom. Otherwise, I cannot receive her unto myself, because we all know God has limitations. You've got to do things just right. Or he, it's just no go, you know. Failure to launch. Everything's just got to be perfect. All right, six. And my people must needs be chastened until they learned obedience. If it must needs be, by the things which they suffer. Anything. Stop complaining. It's your fault. Ah, that's so comforting. The answer to all your needs and prayers and all that shit. All right. Seven. I speak not concerning those who are appointed to lead my people, who are the first elders of my church, for they are not all under this condemnation. Eight. But I speak concerning my churches abroad. There are many who will say, Where is their God? Behold, I will deliver them in time of trouble. Otherwise, we will not go up unto Zion and we'll keep our monies. <laughs> and that was your money, but it's ours now. Yeah. All right, nine. Therefore, in consequence of the transgressions of my people, it is expedient in me that mine elders sh should wait for a little season. For the redemption of Zion. Ten. That they themselves may be prepared. And that my people may be taught more perfectly. Even more perfectly than already. How can you be more perfect? If you're perfect, you're perfect. How can you be more perfect? I don't know. And have experience. And know more perfectly concerning their duty. And the things which I require at their hands. So just give them your money, alright? I think that's what they mean. Eleven. And this cannot be brought to pass until mine elders are endowed with power from on high. For behold, I have prepared a great endowment and blessing to be poured out upon them inasmuch as they are faithful and continue in humility before me. 13. Therefore, it is expedient in me that mine elders should wait for a little season for the redemption of Zion. Okay. Fourteen, for behold, I do not require at their hands to fight the battles of Zion, for, as I said in a former commandment, even so will I fulfill, 
I will fight your battles. Uh. Just wait for it. Yeah, he's coming to the rescue someday. Fifteen. Behold, the destroyer I have sent forth to destroy and lay waste mine enemies. And not many years hence shall they shall not be left to pollute mine inheritance. That's in Missouri? Okay. And to blaspheme my name upon the lands which I have consecrated for the gathering together of my saints. Yeah, that's Jackson County, Missouri, the new Zion, until it became Salt Lake City, Utah. All right. Sixteen. Behold, I have commanded my servant Barak, Ale, and in brackets that's Joseph Smith Jr. That's his special name. To say unto the strength of my house, even my warriors, my young men, and middle-aged, to gather together for the redemption of my people. I thought you said you weren't going to fight. They didn't need to do any fighting. That God was going to fight. Now suddenly he's got his warriors gathered together. And throw down the towers of mine enemies and scatter their watchmen. A little saber rattling there, don't you think? So much for all that talk of peace. Now he's. <sighs> yeah, God was going to do his battle fighting and he was going to fight for them. All he needed to do was to have them do it for him. <sighs> yeah. 17. But the strength of mine house have not. Hearken unto my words, 18. But inasmuch as they are those who have hearkened unto my words, I have prepared a blessing and an endowment for them if they continue faithful. Much repetition there, right? 19. I have heard their prayers and will accept their offering. But that's about it, I guess. <sighs> And it is expedient in me that they should be brought thus far for a trial of their faith. That means he's not going to do anything. you got to do it. You're on your own. <laughs> your sky daddy's just not going to do jack shit. But you, he will take your offering. His prophet will, actually. His profiteer will take your money. And then he'll send out your kids as cannon fodder. This is so wonderful. 20. And now, verily I say unto you, a commandment I have given you, unto you, that as many as have come up hither, that can stay in the region round about, let them stay. 21. And those that cannot stay, who have families in the east, let them tarry for a little season, just a little one. And is it much, it is much as my servant Joseph shall appoint it unto them. Oh, now he's Joseph. He's not Barak Ale all of a sudden. <sighs> That'd be a great name for a beer. Yeah, speaking of which, you probably think we're talking about the Prez. It's Barak Ale. No, we're talking about Joey Jr., you know, the guy who didn't want Mitt Romney to be president. <laughs> All right. 22. For I will counsel him concerning this matter, and all things whatsoever he shall appoint unto them shall be fulfilled, unless they're not. <sighs> 23. And let all my people who dwell in the regions round about be very faithful and prayerful, full of prayer, and humble before me, and reveal not the things which I have revealed unto them, until it should, until it is wisdom in me that they should be revealed. 24. Talk not of judgments, neither boast of faith, nor of mighty works, but carefully Gather together as much in one region as can be, consistently with the feelings of the people. 
25. And behold, I will give unto you favor and grace in their eyes, that you may rest in peace and safety while you are saying unto the people, Execute judgment and justice for us according to the law, and redress us our wrongs. All right, so it's onward, Mormon soldiers. More rattle, rattling of sabers. And while well, talking of peace, I mean, this guy's got forked tongue. 26. Now, behold, I say unto you, my friends, in this way you may find favor in the eyes of the people until the army of Israel becomes very great. Yeah, so play nice until you get everybody lined up. Yeah, very peaceful. 27. And I will soften the hearts of the people as did the heart of Pharaoh from time to time. He hardened the heart of Pharaoh. He didn't soften it. Until my servant Barak Ale. All right, now he's Joseph. He's he's Barak Ale again, and it's Joseph Smith Jr. in brackets. Just keep switching back and forth, don't he? And uh, Banin me, mine elders. That's Banimi, his elders. <laughs> and Amy sounds like some kind of an Italian dish. Uh, all right. Whom I have appointed shall have time to gather up strength of my house. 28. And to have sent wise men to fulfill that which I have commanded concerning the purchasing of all the lands in Jackson County that can be purchased and in the adjoining counties round about. And I guess they'll just sweep the others, you know. Why does God need you to buy anything? Doesn't God own the whole fucking planet? What the fuck? God needs your money to buy land that he already owns. 29. For it is my will that these lands should be purchased, and after they are purchased, that my saints should possess them according to the laws of consecration which I have given. <coughs> 30. And after these lands are purchased, I will hold the armies of Israel guiltless in taking possession of their own lands. That's the lands they couldn't possess through purchasing, huh? Which they have previously purchased with their own monies. Oh, okay. And of throwing down the towers of mine enemies that may be upon them, and scattering their watchmen, and avenging avenging me of mine enemies unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. What if the third generation or the fourth generation or even the second generation likes you? Still, sorry, but your granddaddy hated us, so you're fucked. Makes sense. All right. 31. But first let my army become very great, and let it be sanctified before me, that it may become fair as the sun, that's S-U-N, and clear as the moon, and that her banners may be terrible unto all nations. Sounds so peaceful. 32. That the kingdoms of this world may be constrained to acknowledge that the kingdom of Zion is in very deed the kingdom of our God and his Christ. Therefore, let us become subject unto her laws, kingdom in Missouri. 33. Verily, I say unto you, it is expedient in me that the first elders of my church should receive their endowment from on high in my house, 
which I have commanded to be built unto my name in the land of Kirtland. 34. And let those commandments which I have given concerning Zion and her law be executed and fulfilled after her redemption. 35. There has been a day of calling, but the time has come for a day of choosing, and let those be chosen that are worthy. 36. And it shall be manifest unto my servant by the voice of the Spirit, those that are chosen, and they shall be sanctified. 37. And inasmuch as they follow the counsel which they receive, they shall have power after many days to accomplish all things pertaining to Zion in Jackson County, Missouri. 38. And then again, and again, I say unto you, sue for peace, not only to the people that have smitten you, but also to all people, while building up an army and waiting for the right time. 39. And lift up an ensign of peace and make a proclamation of peace unto the ends of the earth. 40. And make proposals for peace unto those who have smitten you, according to the voice of the Spirit, which is in you. And all things shall work together for your good. 41. Therefore, be faithful, and behold, and lo, I am with you, even until the end, even so. Amen. And that's it for 105. It was freaking fascinating. And I'm going to do another, but not in this video. I'm going to have one more beer, and I'll read another section or two. If you can't stand any more, that's fine. Just let me know if you learned something, okay? Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having, and thanks for sticking around this long.